Hi guys, Michelle Donnellan, the Secretary of State for Science, Innovation and Technology, was interviewed by Trevor Phillips on Sky News about her colleagues. As we've seen, a great number of Tories have either become independents or resigned in disgrace over a whole range of allegations and convictions. So he asked her a very interesting question. What is it like to work with such scumbags? Now her answer was that they represent a minority and not all politicians are like that. However, there is a bit of a problem with her response. Have a listen to this. Members of Parliament who are now sitting as independents, they didn't come into Parliament as mm. independents, mm. but they lost the party whip for sexual harassment, racism, prejudice, assault, unspecified. And these are all allegations, yep. okay? But we know. I, I, I want to ask you, um, how do you feel about having to work alongside these individuals? You meet them in, in meetings, you mm. have to brush past them in the corridors and so on. How do you feel about this? Obviously, it's completely unacceptable to have any type of behaviour akin to this, um, not just in, in the House of Commons, but across society. And we should, I very strongly believe, be setting the right example and the right tone for others to, to follow. But it's certainly not my experience of, of working in the House of Commons. This is uh, completely unacceptable, as I said, but it is a very small minority of people. And the vast majority of MPs, what they're focused on is working really hard for their constituencies and delivering. And that's the very reason why they entered politics in the first place. So I do think we've got to be careful that we don't um, uh, cast a stain over all of us, because that's certainly not uh, representative of the experience. So you're, that I you're saying these are really bad apples, but the barrel is sort of okay? I'm saying that not every MP um, has been conducting yeah. this type of behaviour. I'm, not saying that, but I'm just of, saying of it's, it seems like an awful lot of people caught up in this, and I just wonder if there's something that you would want to say say about the culture of the Commons, particularly that seem to be producing this so result. This is a small number, but it is an unacceptable number, and uh, and it should not be tolerated. That's why we, as a party, have acted swiftly in any of these cases to uh, to strip the the whip. The culture that I have experienced in the House of Commons is not one that uh, facilitates or encourages this type of behaviour. In okay. fact, it is one where people are working at right. uh, extreme pace to, to deliver for their local people. Swiftly, absolute lies. Okay, if we take the case of Peter Bone. Peter Bone, there were allegations presented against Peter Bone in 2013 or 2014. Now, I don't know if uh, David Cameron heard about that, but Theresa May, it seems, ignored those allegations. Boris Johnson ignored those allegations. Boris Johnson actually promoted Peter Bone. Uh, Liz Truss, what did she do about those Peter Bone allegations? She either didn't know or she didn't care and she didn't do anything about it. And Rishi Sunak knew about them and did nothing about it. So you can't say we acted swiftly. And Peter Bone is one example. There have been numerous examples of politicians abusing their position, abusing their staff, and nothing being done about it. Now, she says, well, we wouldn't want this happening in society. Well, this doesn't generally happen in society because if somebody is being abused by their employer, they can take it up with the tribunal. They can sue the company. What can members of staff in the House of Commons do? It seems they can do nothing. They can, the only thing they can do is go to the media and have the politician exposed. Because it seems that the political parties, in particular the Conservatives, just don't want to do anything about this. Until it's absolutely necessary. Until it's actually damaging the party. Then they'll do something. So the victim is never prioritised. The party is always prioritised. Absolutely disgraceful. But she can't get away from that. Now, are the, the vast majority of politicians decent people? Probably yes. But the fact that horrible individuals, scumbags, get away with it, damages the reputation of the House of Commons and the political parties. So it, what, your action is not swift. It should be swift. As soon as allegations are raised, an investigation should be carried out. And whatever that politician is, do, doesn't matter what level they're at, they should face the consequences. Be it sanctions, be it kicked out of the party, losing the whip, whatever. And if you don't have those mechanisms in place now, then you should put them in place immediately. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.